welcome back we're doing the recording of today's godly blessing now here supreme father wants us supreme god father wants us to become pure completely now purity in certain religions is considered mostly in terms of brahmacharya or celibacy but we're here talking about something which comes even before that purity of our thoughts purity of our mind which is very crucial for your relationships for progress for your physical health also peace of mind and at the same time for your finances now purity over here pertains towards how you think about each other and how you think about the world as a whole there is so much of data so much of information coming on the news channels people doing bad things good things you can praise somebody who's doing good things and then you can curse somebody or you can hate somebody who's doing bad things or you can question them now that's where the purity goes away and that's where our peace of mind goes away and if this becomes a habit of hurting and hating people yes your thoughts can actually hurt people even if they are thousands of miles away you can actually influence people who are thousands of miles away with your thoughts depending on how pure those thoughts are so purity is something which is saving you also from peacelessness one thing saving you from having bad relationships saving you from having financial losses saving you from having bad health and purity is at the same time helping you to serve the world as a whole so let's see what the supreme creator have to say over here in today's godly blessing supreme creator says may you become completely pure and experience the elevated stage so it's a higher elevated conscious stage of purity by becoming a true vaishnav now vaishnav is generally related to a hindu or a or a or a adi sanatan religion vaishnav means somebody who's pure is just a definition somebody who's pure in their mind and not just in their food habits so god says the definition of complete purity is very elevated and easy the meaning of complete purity is that impurity should not touch your mind or intellect even in your dreams that means you had a bad episode in the day somebody shouted at you somebody said bad things about you or you heard somebody saying negative things about you and it comes in your dreams and you see yourself taking revenge with that person or you see yourself saying bad things or you see yourself meeting that person and having more episodes <coughs> of these negative exchanges and where you try to when you try to take revenge you try to make that person feel down that's impurity and if it's coming in your dreams god says then you're suffering it's a disease of the mind it's completely negative and it's going to take away your peace of mind isn't it you're going to think or you're going to dream a dream full sleep is a alpha stage sleep where your actually body is trying to sleep but you are consciously awake and that's a very bad way of sleeping and most of the people in the world because of anxiety because of depression because of having bad feelings and negative thoughts and impure thoughts are not having good sleep at night they are taking pills and sleeping so purity if brought in our life towards ourselves towards others towards a situation in our life if you got pure thoughts and blessings for others imagine how peacefully like a baby you will sleep so god then says this is known as being a pure being a true vaishnav that means you don't have even impurity in your dreams this is known as being a true vaishnav even if you are a number wise effort maker just like a student or students they don't have equal marks number wise means that everybody has got different capacity the aim of your effort is to have complete purity this is easy when you have the company of the almighty authority father who makes the impossible possible now this is only possible when we are meditating on him and because of being in his company the purest soul in the whole universe that's what he is infinite light infinite being the infinite quantum field the point of light the source of the creation everything is here it's not in the frame over here which i'm showing you behind with my fingers that's what he is up there and from there he is asking us to get in touch with him connect with him on a spiritual level telepathic level so that we can also grasp and absorb his infinite power 
for that we have to have infinite purity within us because only then two energies can flow he's an high, high energy and i need to connect to him you need to connect to him for us to have a beautiful life ahead a pure mind is a peaceful mind no purity no peace that's the foundation of purity think about it what you think about it is what you are going to gain if you think more deeply about it is purity important have i been thinking pure thoughts about somebody is that really making me peaceless is that really making me anxious is that making me feel depressed ask yourself that question and you'll get the answer whether purity is important or not and if you want to learn more about this you can go and attend the seven day course at prama kumari center wherever you are in the world 150 countries we are there and if you are not able to go for some reason do join us on every sunday 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock on the next coming sunday we're going to have a psychologist and a gold medalist and a psychologist who's practicing psychology and is working with help groups in the british government and otherwise too and is helping a lot of souls around and we're going to have another speaker a rajyoga expert and she is also going to share a lot of things and i'll be there with you so join us on this coming sunday 13th of november with us om shanti